Alright, it's time for me to almost commit suicide as Spyro. And also another episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Let's get our freaking sparks back up. Okay, thank you. Let's save the game. Because I don't want to take any chances, man. I don't want to take any chances. We're sitting on 97% completion of the game right now. Not a terrible uh, little little progression there. Nasty Nork already? That's, that's him? Really? That's like the bonus level at the end of the game or something? Okay, let's face Nasty Nork. That's totally cool. And we've already collected all of the gems of the that main level now as well. So we're sitting on big completion of the game. Probably 98% after beating that. This will be 99 and then 100. Okay. 97 still. Oh god. Okay. I don't know what he just did there, but I'm running away from it. Okay. Keep running. Thank you. Thank you. Collect the treasure. Collect this treasure. Awesome. Ignore him. Ganasty Ganork. We can't get up to him yet, so we might as well go this way and miss some gems. I think there was an, uh, a thief this way. Probably the last egg thief or something. Maybe the last egg thief will be on that last level that we get to after Nasty Nork. Okay, I'm coming after you, egg thief. Or maybe you're not an egg thief. Maybe you're just a thief. Maybe he's just a thief. Oh, he's a key thief. Oh, got him. We got the freaking key. Okay, now let's just continue back up here. Now we can open up that door that we saw. Which is right here. Thank you. Awesome. Another key thief. Give me the treasure. We need all this treasure. I'm a treasure hog. I can't live without all this treasure. Thank you. Defeating Nasty Nork comes second to gathering the treasure. We can catch this guy, no problem. Right? Oh, got him. Another key, and we did miss one treasure. I thought we did. Okay, now what is this key for, I wonder? We'll find out. There's treasure over here. Hiding from us. Okay, thank you. What are we looking at here? Key in this thing. Get down here, Ganasty. Ganasty Ganork. Um. Okay, we chase him. Awesome. Stop for the extra treasure. Holy crap, there's a lot of treasure, man. 500 in this level. Okay, okay. I don't want to just, like, charge down and potentially die. That'd be retarded. Awesome. More treasure. Let's keep going. I like it. I like this level a lot. This would be a cool supercharge area. We can get up here for some reason. What is up here is the question. Death, potentially? With Nasty Nork frickin' firing at us. Let's just keep running along here, then get this. Oh, I love how much treasure we're just getting. We're just getting it. Look at all this treasure. Was there anything behind here? Nope. Okay. Can we just... Are we just charging to catch him, or is there something more to this level that we're doing? I don't exactly know if we're gonna catch him around this loop, or if we're gonna be doing something else. Because we're, we're getting close to him now. We started off closer to him, but... Oh, we almost caught him. Here we come. What? What is this? How do we get him? Um... Not really sure what we're supposed to be doing, like, because I ran into him. That did nothing. Maybe we do just flame him. He goes frickin' fast though, man. He goes bloody fast, doesn't he? Okay, Flames got him. Let's continue chasing him. I thought they wouldn't because of his armor, but I guess they did. Okay, this is... This reminds me of Crash Team Racing a lot, actually. Oh god, that was dumb. So I just decided to to give him a, a bit of a chance there. Do we have to re-get the key and everything? Son of a bitch, man. So I guess I'll cut to when I'm back up to there again. 
Okay, here we are. Not dead this time. Very much alive, in fact. And enjoying the frickin' game a lot, actually. Okay, those were retracting the bastard. Oh. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Yay, so we beat the game. And, um, just so you guys know, this is like... My fourth time recording the... The cutscene there and the credits. Because what happened the first time was, you know how it goes black after you beat Nasty Nork? And then it goes to that scene with Spyro, and then it goes black again, and the credits. Whenever it goes black like that, it makes the video glitch from that point on. So, it went black there, it glitched, and then I recorded the next level, the bonus level. All glitched, the video is like one frame per every few seconds. Um, audio is fine. But yeah, so I had to re-record it. Anyway, um, regardless of that, that's not the game's fault. So we won't blame the game or let that dampen the Let's Play. And I will be re-recording the last level with a downloaded save file and all this great stuff. Anyway, the game itself. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, graphics. Well, I'm not being up to par with today's graphics. Um, the very fitting of the game. Very, like, mystic and all of that good stuff bit glitchy but that's probably just because I'm emulating it rather than playing it on the PlayStation 1. Sound, awesome, music perfectly fits the mood and um, start of the game. And the sound effects were very good as well. Mobs were good, not not too challenging or not too complicated but while still remaining somewhat challenging a lot of the time. Level design was the major thing and it was absolutely fantastic throughout the game difficulty curve is almost perfect um yeah there's really nothing more to say about the game it's just goddamn fantastic story is of course pretty thin but that's just a veil because it's a uh you know like a puzzle 3d platformer adventure game more than an rpg still an rpg though it's good um gameplay very big part of the game and it's very very good control is amazing um, it's not like on on modern third person platforms and third person adventure games and things no sheep were harmed during the creation of this game a few knocks but no sheep that's good even the fourth time reading it it's still good um, but yeah the game very very good Anyway, as it returns us home, it'll show us we have, yeah, all the treasure and stuff we have. Um, of course we have the 80 dragons and things, but we're only supposed to have 12,000 treasure there. Um, and 100% completion rather than 120%. I have 120% because I've already finished the last level, but I will be re-recording that, that for you guys so that you don't miss out on it because it was a very awesome level. Anyway, with that, we shall run it off for this episode and I shall mess around with frickin' save game memory cards and loads of bullcrap to try and get it working. Thank god I was playing this on an emulator rather than on an actual PlayStation because I wouldn't, uh, you know, I'd have to just start the game again and then go all the way through the game just to play the last level, which would have been hell. Anyway, I definitely recommend you guys pick this up if you see it in a in a store like the like a budget store or a second hand shop or, or a uh, you know, like a pawn shop, or or even a gaming store, if they happen to have a copy lying around, definitely, definitely buy it. It'd be cheap as as well. Um, or if you see it on eBay or whatever your local auction site is, pick it up, pick it up, man, because it's awesome. And pick up the other two as well that I'll be let's playing. Anyway, with that, we should round it off for this episode. So, till next time. <laughs>